Pearl Harbor Diary of Amber Billows. It starts uh, when she's in the mainland and uh, her dad travels for work so the family always follows him and it obviously the Pearl Harbor so night Hawaii 1941 obviously and it starts out really nice really sweet they go and they tour as soon as they do they all do the touristy stuff like her dad finds a friend that's in the Navy they tour Pearl Harbor uh, they she goes into school and she's uh, in fifth grade 11 years old and so she, her life is pretty much making friends uh, catching up on schoolwork because she keeps missing it be, and having to learn in a different state with the different states curriculum so in her diary it's always it's like just a young girl going through all that normal young girl stuff and then after a minute she it goes into everything uh that was they were going through during pearl harbor so it she describes it like she gets woken up by her mom because she and her mom's like racing telling her to run out like come look in the back wake up your brother come look in the back and she noted like sees the planes and she remembers like she felt that vibration she thought it was a dream and she realizes that, that was happening in real life and her brother has binoculars to, and gave her the binoculars and she looked up and saw that it was um not like american and saw that it was the japanese and it they were all, all heading towards pearl harbor and and it just like kind of raw and heartfelt and pretty much going through uh through the 11 year old's eyes and her mom her dad was at work uh he's a like journalist so he uh he was like somewhere on the island for work and on the radio it's called for any nurses to come to the Pearl Harbor hospital so her mom's left them at home and of course, you know, being an 11 year old girl and uh, reading it through her eyes, she uh, claims like, how can they, she leave us? I'm so scared. And of course, all the emotions and you feel it because it's coming through her and her and her brother builds a tent in the living room and like to, in order to feel safe and having a, like a safe place, which pretty much uh, just in a kid's brain how something like that works and the next day when her mom comes back from the hospital she mentions how she was like completely covered in blood and completely exhausted and the only thing her mom wanted to do when she came in through the door is just go to sleep and then the next day her uh, 11 year old daughter says mom like I want to go to the hospital with you and of uh, like support and help and volunteer so they both go to the hospital and she steps up and does everything her mom tells her to which I think as for an 11 year old that is just incredible behavior and it also uh everybody that they meet on in Hawaii during the like weeks that they lived there before the attack uh, all the relationships that they built the family built they it mentions everyone and how uh what happened to them and her bet her new best friend was japanese so they took her dad away to a camp and they mo monitored her mom on the uh, phone because her mom only spoke japanese and her uh and they would go on the, the operator would go on the phone saying like it will disconnect if you don't transfer to english and her uh best friend's aunt would uh took the daughter and had uh had the kids with her and they all had christmas together as like a big friendship group because they just refused to 
not celebrate Christmas and not let that be taken away with them. And I thought that was very, uh, like very inspirational that they would do that. And I kind of, I really, these books, I really do learn a lot that stuff that I didn't know about. Like 1941, uh, Hawaii was just a territory, not a state. I honestly didn't even know that. I, and during the war or during like the, the Pearl Harbor aftermath, uh, they got issued like Hawaii money, like not um, like they are American dollars. They would go to the bank and got traded in for like Hawaii money. They had to wear a mask, like gas masks. And after a minute, uh, they m moved out of Hawaii because the government was asking anyone who uh, like doesn't have to like live here that's not like local from here uh, so that like I'm guessing they weren't forcing anyone to move but it was brought up that saying like essentials and rebuilding the uh, community making the community stronger the um, local people and people that were uh, not like didn't have to live there uh, would move so they could have housings for people who's no longer had like housings and they, so they all move and then that was the end of the end of this uh, book and it was she even says at the end of the book that this was the saddest diary I ever kept uh, and in the forward where it kind of tells you everything about what happened that day in history and for like the stories of the characters well not characters because they were real people the uh one of the officers in the Arizona ends up getting divorced because he after surviving that day he went to like drugs and alcoholism and her best friend that lived in Hawaii, her dad, um, being a journalist, helped her track her down and found out that late, later in the few years that her friend died in a motorcycle accident. So she ended up adopting her friend's daughter and, mar and she married a, um, a guy that was her older brother's best friend. And it is very eye-opening and very it's very kind of sad i this is like a teenager book series but i would say probably this specific one maybe like an older teenager would be more appropriate and is very uh personalized these book series and if you're home um homeschooling or in your child's in school and they're learning about a World War II or anything uh, historically because these book series there's covers a whole range of stories from all different walks of in history that if they wanted a more of a personalized uh, view of it either supplement or use these books uh, along with the lessons that they're learning it would be very effective I believe to uh, for like an 11 year old girl to read about the story of another 11 year old girl in my personal opinion I would definitely recommend the Dear America series until next time thanks for stopping by bye